After complaints from Butte officials and many citizens, the EPA has promised to start being more transparent in its decision-making process over the Superfund cleanup here in Butte. But some people are still skeptical. It's a good first start, but people need to put the pressure on and continue to keep the pressure on for openness and transparency. The EPA has been criticized for not keeping the public informed about the cleanup effort outlined in the consent decree to clean up areas of Butte that have been contaminated by a century's worth of mining. Some allege the EPA has been friendly with the Atlantic Richfield Company and less concerned about what's best for the public. Open meetings are not about meeting the needs of the governmental agency. They're about meeting the needs of the public. On August 23rd, the EPA released a statement promising to add more public meetings. That include the Butte Priority Soils Operable Unit, Remedial Action, and Groundwater Modeling. The statement added, our first step to enhance transparency was bringing in more EPA staff so we could better share information and address questions and concerns from individuals across the community more effectively. However, the EPA said it will do this over the next four months, then decide if it's worth continuing the public meetings or if they're only delaying the cleanup process. The only way it would extend the length of the project is if they're doing something they shouldn't be doing. And the project's already four years old and they haven't started yet, so I don't think we're going to lengthen the project by getting clarity and transparency. The EPA will host a public meeting Wednesday, August 23rd at the Butte Emergency Operations Center at 6 o'clock in the evening to discuss the use of on-site materials, also known as gray dirt, in the cleanup. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News.